Oh my god, zoom in on the action. Oh my god, they still look like siblings, but I mean, it, it's still cute either way. They've got matching earrings. Okay, this is like meant to be. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Lucas and welcome back to the Time Lord Challenge. Now as you can see, um, we've kidnapped Andy Warhol, there is no better way to put it. Okay, so basically, I wanted some nice portraits, you could be quiet for a second. Um, I wanted some lovely portraits of the TARDIS gang here as you can see, and I was like, you know what, I mean, I could have like Maureen or the Oracle do it, but Maureen is not exactly a painter, she's more of, you know, a pirate, and the Oracle, like, I don't really, I don't want her to touch the painting skill until like... She's doing the painting aspirations. I was like, you know, what? why don't we like just take a painter, pluck him out of time and have him paint for us. So I was like, you know, what? let's get Andy Warhol to do it. Like, OK, first of all, don't be leaving any comments saying, oh, but Andy Warhol does pop art. I know. I know my art 101. You don't have to educate me. Don't worry. But I was just like, you know, they did Van Gogh in Doctor Who. So I can't really do Van Gogh because like, uh, you know, he's already he's, they, they've already done him. He's old news. And then I was like, well, I don't know, Andy Warhol just fascinates me, I just thought he'd be really cool, um, I know he does pop art, but like, you know, if some aliens, or an alien and a pirate, like, pluck you out of time, and take you into their spaceship, you're gonna do whatever they want, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna question the medium or the art style you're gonna paint them in when they ask you to paint some portraits of them, so right now he is doing the Oracle and Nebula, um, I did actually have him do one off camera over here, like of Oracle and Nebula, but for some reason it, it's just gone black. I don't know why. If anyone knows how to fix this, um, feel free to hit me up and tell me because it was such a nice painting and now I'm going to have to like replace it with this one, which is also quite nice, but just it's not the same as the original. Um, so yeah, this is currently his studio. There's his bed that he's been sleeping in because, as I said, we've sort of kidnapped him. I mean, I like to think he's kind of enjoying it. As you know, not every painter can say they've been kidnapped by time travelers. I mean, not kidnapped. Um, they've they've been, uh, I guess, hitchhiked, <laughs> um, picked up, I guess, by some time travelers, some aliens. You know, saying, "Hey, can you paint some portraits of us?" Um, I should get word of Maureen an oracle, but I think I'm gonna get um. And use the pose player mod for that, which is not currently in my game. I take it out when like I'm I'm not using it. If that makes sense, um, I probably should have done that before this episode started. Oh well, I guess I'll do that off camera now. But yeah, I'll do Maureen and Oracle's portraits off camera so I can use the pose player mod to pose them. Um, Cause just getting them to sit down and then him paint was just a nightmare and a half. But yeah, this is our photo studio, or um, it's supposed to be a photo studio. It's now currently his art studio, I guess. Um, I do have get to work now, so I can actually put the photography stuff in there once he leaves. But yeah, now we're just chilling with Andy Warhol, I guess. I mean, he's not going to be a full-time companion unless, who knows, we like him. I, I mean, he's supposed to be temporary, basically, so don't get your hopes up. Don't be thinking, we now got Andy Warhol as the TARDIS crew. He's just here to help, um, temporarily, give us some portraits. Where's the Oracle gone? I was thinking we should actually call up our good friend, um... What's his face? Artie, that was it. The guy in the blue suit. Artie Fisham. Like, yes, let's go for it. Alright, give him a call. Just, I guess, just just see how he's doing. It's been a while since that rich party, and, you know, he was wearing a dashing blue suit, and as you can tell, the Oracle just loves a blue suit. Her energy's not looking great right now, either. Um, oh, we're so close. We're so close. You've got to achieve level 6 with the logic skill. Okay, that was good. Why don't we send him a lovely text as well, like a... You know when you have you have a nice quick chat and you've got to send a text, like, that was a lovely chat. Go on, you hit him up. Where is Maureen? Is she watching TV? She's just fascinated by the TV. I mean, I don't blame her, seeing as she is from the 1600s. And, like, you see that and you just think, oh, my God. But, oh, she should watch the world um, thingamajig. That would be cool for a pirate to see, like, the world culture. Oh, she's getting a message. Oh, my God. Yes. We got a date. Okay. Oh my god, we're going on a date with Artie. We're abandoning Andy Warhol for Artie Fisher. Sure, I mean, I'll take it. Why not? Oh my god, Oracle's going on a date. Well, it's not a date, but like, it's a date, you know? 
on the DL. It's, it's a friend date, but hopefully we can make it more than a friend date. All right, we're hanging out with friends in inverted commas at the park. Oh, he's still rocking the blue suit. I was going to say that's a bit weird, but then again, so are we. So if he wants a blue suit for his everyday wear, we can't really judge because that's literally us. Let's go find a cool place for them to chill. Um, I would say, oh, let's go to the lounge. Why don't we? Well, actually, we'll talk to him first, then we can do the sit and talk here interaction. So, hey, Artie, should we give him a hug? Artie Fisham. Give him, that's a really nice name. Sounds Latin or like Greek or something. Let's give him a hug. No, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't just walk away. No, oh, she's walking away. I know you do love a good read, Oracle, but oh no, no, oh, Oracle. She does love her books, to be fair. And there's a child here. I mean, sure, why not? Oh, Oracle. Jeez, that is rude. Oh, now Jack is here, looking like a homeless man. Oh, he's gonna be. Th oh no, he's gonna cramp our style in there now. We can't go in there anymore. We're gonna be third wheeling with Jack. Oh, gee. Oh my God, that sucks. Who's this over here? Doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Um, we should be focusing on good old. Get off the road, Artie. That's not good. You're in the bike lane. Um, let's just hit him with some nice interactions. Oh, can we finally get to know his other traits? Because we couldn't find out before. He shares two of Oracle's traits. He was like perfectionist and genius. Um, where are you, Artie? So he's ambitious. <gasps> oh my God! So is um, Oracle. Oh no, she's good. Okay, so he's not. He's not. You know, maybe he's not a paragon like Oracle. That's fine. At least he shares two of the three. Why don't we him with a heartfelt compliment about his lovely blue suit, as you do, and his hair. He's got some nice hair. <laughs> Oh, why don't we take a picture with him? That'll be nice, because we do have that, like, wall of pictures. Yeah. You you tell that story, Artie. Take a photo with Artie Fisham. Oh, look at these two being cute, and it's being ruined already. Jesus. It's the forgotten Weasley brother. Oh, why? Oh, my God. Come on, get a, get a cute photo together. Get a cute photo. Oh, by the way, I've uninstalled that hair. You know that CC hair I was talking about that crops up everywhere? So if we see some bold sims, that'll be why. So I deleted that hair. I was sick of, like, every sim and their mother rocking that CC hair. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's nice. They do kind of look like siblings. Oh. Ooh. Looks like they're both sort of cosplaying as the same character, but in different genders, you know? There we go. They look like sort of Team Rocket, but, like... You know how they're sort of just dressed kind of the same? Um, is Jack still in there? I hope he's not. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go sit here. Get a bit more privacy. Actually, no. Where's the sit and talk with interaction? I guess we'll have to keep talking to him. Hey, Artie. Um, let's do, like, let's share some brilliant ideas. And then sit down. Sit and chat here. we got to hit it off. We should start some of the romance interactions. See if we can get... Get them in together, you know, that would be cute. That would be really nice. I mean, poor Maureen, you know, I do think. Oracle and Maureen, I mean, do I kind of ship them on the down low? I think I do, but at the same time, like, this guy, he's literally made for the Oracle, although she is really tired. So got to speed this up. I mean, he's got the blue suit. He's got, like, the similar traits. He's, like, just the perfect man. Hey, okay. Maybe we should start laying on, like, the romance stuff now. Um, why don't we go for compliment appearance? We should ask if single first. That's a big one. We don't want to be like, be, we don't want to be a home wrecker. That would be awful. Ask if single, and then maybe go for a little flirt. Oh yeah. Please be single. Please be single. Exchange numbers. Ooh. Yes. And he is single. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, we're so getting in there, Artie. You better watch out. We're going to ask a risque question. You know we are. And we're going to go for an embrace. They've got to stand up to embrace, but that's fine. you you got to get up for your loved ones. Uh, okay, please, please, please go well. I want this to go well. Let's brighten his day as well. It doesn't hurt to express admiration. We just lay it on thick. we just got to be nice. we just got to be... You know, ooh, humour. Oh, and Ashley's uncomfortable. Oh dear, this this might ruin everything. This might ruin everything. Tell a funny story. We saw uh, a robot dog at the park. Isn't that crazy? 
Oh, that's some good music. Now she's confident. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, it's going well. It's going well. It's going well. It's going well. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, but it is going well. A few moments later. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Do some more flirting. Why don't we make this a date? I mean, I know we're already out, but why don't we, like... Why don't we just go back to the park here and make it a date? Oh, God, no! Oh, God! There was a minus in there. Please, 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 please. Oh, he's... I think he's just a little bit unsure. I don't blame him. Sometimes, you know, you're a bit too alike. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Artie. I'm sorry. Sometimes you can't go too thick. You know, you gotta, you gotta go slow and gentle. What am I talking about? I have no idea. Um, let's get a close upon this action if the frame rate responds. They do kind of look like siblings. I'm not sure how much I like that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's... Ooh. Maybe we were going a bit too quick. We've got to slow things down. Apologize. Maybe we're getting there as friends first. That's always a good thing. So he, he kind of rejected us. Let's just, let's just, you know, take it slow as friends, and then we'll see how things go. Ooh, this is not going well. Oh, he's walking away. He's walking away. Please don't... Oh, he's got to the toilet, doesn't he? Wait. Oh. Ooh, we are... I'm embarrassed. You, you don't have to be embarrassed, Artie. I am embarrassed for the both of you. He's unemployed. That's fine. So is the Oracle. So we can't judge. Um, discuss interests. This this wasn't great. For hanging out with friends, it wasn't the best. Um, but I still want them to, you know, like, maybe repair things. I don't want to leave on, like, this sad note. Right, you stop being embarrassed. I'm sorry, I'm cheating. We can't have this. We can't have any of this this mopey stuff. you got to get in there. you got to get And you know what? Dare I cheat again? But oh. cheating is like a slippery slope. You cheat once, you yeah. cheat again. Cheap again? Oh, my God, I can't speak. Ah. Come on, yes. See, we are fixing this. We are slowly, slowly fixing this. What? Tell an unbelievable story. I guess you gotta lie about your career because, like, you want him to think you're a normal human being and not a time traveling um, alien. So, you know what? Yeah, let's lie about our career. That'll be good. Ask about his day, maybe. Ooh. I think we're fixing it. I think we're getting there, guys. I think we are. Right, I'm gonna take a quick drink break. Okay, my drink has been drunk and we are. He's happy. That's good. That's good. We are, we are back on track. Dare I sneak in like a little flirt? Um, do an impression, and then we'll we'll do like one little flirt. We will do a pickup line, and then we'll cut his appearance. And then maybe it's time for us to go home. It is getting a little bit late. We've got to see how Andy is doing with our paintings. Okay, this is pleasant. This is good. This is good. This is good. We are actually doing this. Oh my god. See, I can salvage a day. I can. Yes. I just got the mischief skill. You naughty minx, Oracle. Please don't ruin this with a flirt now. Please, we we gotta we gotta end this on a good note. Oh, she's flirty. Yes. Okay. Maybe this will help. Maybe. 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 <gasps> Oh, he's flirty now. Ooh. But the day, why Why has this got to happen at the end of the day? It's literally midnight. Like, we can't take him back to our place. That's not happening. Maybe we can go back to his place? Maybe. Ooh, maybe we can. That's an option. Yes. Oh, my God. It's actually working now. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Can we go back to your place, Artie? Because, like, you can't go back to ours. Atav, not now! Why is why is our butler inviting us out to a club? Yes, 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 we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. First kiss! Oh my god, it's kind of romantic. At night time, by the toilets. You know? Like, this serial killer could come out of there. Oh my god, zoom in on the action. Oh my god, they still look like siblings, but I mean, it, it's still cute either way. They've got matching earrings. Okay, this is like meant to be. Like, you can't, you can't argue this was not meant to be. Okay, it's getting quite late. Don't read. 
No, Oracle. Is he going? Maybe we should say goodbye and call it a day. Invite to stay the night. I wish we could, but like, you know, we we can't because that'll probably scare him off for good. Um, can we say goodbye? I think he's already going. Can we have like a goodbye kiss? That would be cute. Have a goodbye kiss. I know you just kissed, but you can do it again. Oh, and apologies if I'm cutting quite a fair amount. Like, I'm still a little bit sick, and I'm still, like, sniffing and coughing and drinking and... Ooh, saucy. So, yeah, um, if, I, if I'm, if i like, cutting a lot, it's just because I'm cutting out my sniffs and my coughs and... Oh, look at this gentleman. Right, goodbye. Goodbye, Artie. Oh, that was sweet. See? It, 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 it was a little bit rocky at the start, but we salvaged it. Oh, she's actually very flirty. I don't know if I... I know it's late, but like, you know, no, we gotta go. We gotta call it a day. It's literally one o'clock in the morning now, or getting there. Come on. Go home. She's well tired. Jeesh. Okay, bye, Artie. Look at that smile. Look at that lovely smile as he watches us go. Cute. Okay, we are back at the TARDIS. It's proper late. Yeah, you, you head off to bed. Missy, you are very tired. Yep, yeah, you, you go to bed. There is no shame in you going to bed. Maureen is using our toilet. That's great. Maureen, can you go to bed as well? Please. I mean, it's it's it's, it's very late. Um, also, how's Andy doing as well with our painting? Oh, he's finished it. Oh, that is cute. Aside from maybe like the hair blocking Nebula's face, that's still pretty adorable. Um, wasn't. I mean, I think that actually might be better than the first one we got, to be fair. The one that blacked out for some reason. So when we pop it... Oh, yeah, I converted this little hallway into, like... I guess it's going to be, like, the... The painting room. God knows. Maybe it's because of the frame I added? I don't know. But yeah, it's gone all black. Oh, why has that happened? Is it because of the frame? If I remove the frame, will it come back? No, it's still black. Oh! Oh, well. I'm going to keep it there for now. Just in case you guys know how to fix it. I'm not going to frame this one, just in case... Because, I mean, I have no idea what caused it. Okay, I guess you can play basketball then, Andy. If that makes you happy. Look at his little face. Um, and we will... Everyone got to go to bed. Where is Atav? Is he in bed? No, he's at that club, isn't he? He's probably out raving, having a good time. Atav is like a nightmare to find. There... Oh, no, that's Andy. How, oh, my God, Andy, how did you... Get, Andy moves quick. Um, where is Atav? He's a nightmare to find. Atav, am I, am I blind? Am I missing him? I feel... Oh, there... No, no, that's the light. That is the light. Um, where is he? See, he's black and white, like, his, his suit. It always blends in with, like, the black and white of the TARDIS. Um, who knows? Maybe he is at the club enjoying his, his night off, I guess. Oh, Atav. He's not in the music room. He's not in our lab. He's not in the photo studio. Atav, where are you, man? If we have Andy, like, summon him, will that... You know, if we if we do a butler duty, will that... Oh, no, I kind of got to click on him to make him do things, don't I? Atav has disappeared. Okay, you know, if he's at the club, he's at the club. We'll leave him be. I guess now all we have left to do is fast forward to the morning and see what the new day brings us. Oh! Was that him? No, it was a potted plant. Oh, damn you, Atav. Rise and shine, Maureen. It is time for you to wake up. Maureen is probably such like an early riser, considering she is, you know, a pirate. You know, I mean, I figured they wake up early. You got to um, call Nebula to eat and then just get ready. Use your own bathroom for once. You don't have to use um, oracles all the time. Yeah, use the toilet. Um... Uh, the Oracle, sorry, not Maureen. The Oracle's probably going to be in bed for a long time, seeing as she went to bed quite late. Oh, she's having some, some flirty dreams, I think. What is going on in that noggin? Oh, that was a little bit too close, I feel. <laughs> Any sign of a Tarv still? I feel like we should be playing some like chess with him to get that logic skill up. A Tarv, if you want to show up. Um, he's proper gone, hasn't he? I mean, fair enough, he doesn't have to be here all the time. If he wants to go clubbing, he can go clubbing. Unless he's standing outside again. He does love to stand outside. Oh, he is! Oh, Atav. Come on, reset him. Come on, Atav. Come join us. Come join us in um, the TARDIS. You don't have to wait outside all the time. He does love standing, and you know what? I mean, 
if that's what he wants to do, that's what he can do. But come inside, it's cold out. I guess it's not really cold if it's a desert, but um. Okay, so we've got Andy Warhol walking around half naked. I mean, sure, if you could sum up your Let's Play in one phrase, I guess it could be that. That's so aesthetically pleasing. Oh my god, just nebula in the middle of that rug. Sorry. Okay, so we've got Andy Warhol walking around half naked. I mean, you got to be a bit more respectful, mate. It's not your house. And Oracle downstairs sending another text. Oh my god, she is smitten. you got to send another one, fam. Keep them going. Keep them coming. And where is Maureen in this lovely morning? Where are you, Maureen? Using She never uses her own bathroom. It's always somebody else's. Unbelievable. That's actually unbelievable. Maureen, why don't you hit the gym? That would be a nice thing to do. Why don't you go hit the gym before we end today's episode? Go on, work out. And how's it going with Oracle over here? Okay, so we just got a text from Artie um, asking us to meet him someplace. I think we should go. Time for a cute second date. If she, if she even finishes this response. Oh my god, she's taking forever. There we go. Yep, let's go and... No, no, no. We gotta go meet Artie to where he told us to. He told us to go to, um, I think it was somewhere in Windenburg? Somewhere in Windenburg. We'll go to Wind. Okay, yeah. If the map loads. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Yeah, he told us to go meet him at Windenburg. Um, head over there. We're gonna go alone, of course, for our second date. We're gonna travel alone because, of course, we don't want no, um, third wheels. That'll be, that'll be horrible. Let's go have some alone time with Artie. Yeah, told us to meet us here. Um, God knows what is actually here. Hopefully it's a cute restaurant. I mean, you know, you don't be taking your gal out on a second date to, you know, I don't know, the circus. Okay, so... <gasps> we've just arrived at Quiet Woodland and oh my god, it's the dog! It's the dog, he's got, even, he's got stars around his head. Um, friendly introduction. It's, what's his face? Was it... It was Comet, that was it. Hey, Comet. Got stars around his head. Is that an illness? Fine, sure. I mean, he's a robot, so I guess it'd be like a glitch as opposed Ooh. to an illness. Oh, he's friendly. So yeah. Um. So we have a food van. Interesting. Is this his house? I mean, we'll give we'll give a knock on the door of the food van. It seems like no one is here, except for the robot dog. Yeah, he told us to come here. Um. No idea why. No sign of him. <gasps> he's here. Oh, he's doing a run out. Where are you going? Come on in. Where are you going? Uh, we'll, go, we'll go have a word with him. Is everything alright? Why have you told us to come over here? Oh, and he's already started a fire. He's already started a fire. Oh man, what have you done? Jesus, Artie. Jesus. So you come over to your food van, and the first thing you do is you start a fire. No, don't kiss. Now is not the time. Yes. What have you done? Oh, you're a disaster, Artie. You're a dis you're a klutz. He's just set fire to his little camp thing here. So this is house. I mean, I don't want to judge, but like, I mean, if he if this is his house, what was he doing at that millionaire party? Why don't we ask him um, what the hell is going on and why you've brought us here? Okay, well, ask him what is going on. Uh, Artie, what on earth is going on? Why do you live in a food truck? Why have you got a robot dog? Is he the owner of the robot dog, actually? Oh my god, I think he is. <gasps> and also, why have you just set fire to um, your possessions? Oh, he's, he's going to show us something. Okay, who is that? Edward, th okay, I can't get distracted. What is going on here? Yeah, he said, he said come inside. What, your food truck? <gasps> oh, this is not what I think it is. Robot dog. Pirate friend. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.